very uh, sad statistic here. Every 107 seconds, another American is sexually assaulted. And being that April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, we're shining the local spotlight on two organizations working diligently every day to prevent it. Please welcome Donna Palumba to the show, the founder of Jane Doe No More, and Dr. William Pettit of the Pettit Family Foundation. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Uh, Donna, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about the mission of Jane Doe No More. Jane Doe No More's mission is to improve the way society responds to victims of sexual violence through education, awareness, advocacy, and support, and to support victims. And you know this firsthand. You went through this. Yes. I, it's, Jane Doe No More was born out of my personal experience, and the re-victimization afterward was really horrific and really was detrimental to my healing process, so we were setting out to educate everyone about the crime. Yeah, we, we, we talk about that healing process, and, and for somebody on the outside looking in, if you know of a family who has gone through some sort of sexual assault, what, what do you recommend to those families to start the conversation and, and, and try to help the people that you love? I think the, the important thing is to first start by believing. Don't judge. Just the way you, you talk to them, your body language, just show support. Mm. And let them know that they have options. One of the most important things they can do is go to the hospital so that a sex crimes kit can be conducted because you only have a short window to be able to conduct that. And then they can go on to decide if they're going to press charges and, and etc. But it's a trauma that they, that's occurred to them. So they may act in a way that's peculiar, but you can never know how a victim of trauma, or you should never judge them either. Sure. sure. And Dr. We'll bring you into the conversation. How can law, law enforcement learn from from previous mistakes? Well, I think uh, just what Donna said to uh, believe the, wic the victim first mm -hmm. of all and ascertain all the facts before uh, passing passing judgment and try to uh, encourage the uh, the victims to utilize the resources that are available, mm -hmm. such as the emergency department, such as counseling. I'm, I'm still amazed that a lot of people do not avail themselves of counseling, either with a psychologist, social worker, a psychiatrist, because they feel there's a stigma attached. And then they attempt to get counseling through family and friends, and your family and friends can help somewhat, but they need to be your family and friends, and you really should have a professional counselor handling that mm -hmm. end of it. Yeah. That's a great point, and it's just so important to realize that it, for every victim, that it is not your fault and you are not alone. Mm. And we know uh, Donna Jane Doe is going out to campuses to get that point across. We are. We started a safe student initiative, and April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and so we're on you know Quinnipiac's campus with Take Back the Night. We also have several different events. A couple free of charge are our Escape Alive Survival Skills. We're running a class in in Bethlehem and in uh, Waterbury later in the month, and they're free of charge because of sponsors like the Pettit Family That's Foundation. Great, yeah. Yeah, I took part in one of those classes it's a while back. And yes, you, you really learn skills that you, you keep with you. It's absolutely, yes. And that's the thing is that, you know, muscle memory and, and it's really a wonderful class. Again, it's for girls and women ages 12 and older. So it could cover the whole gamut and it's such an important class to take. It's all about empowerment and confidence. Yeah, and it's it's, it's so great that, that uh, the two of you have been able to, to take light from these uh, horrific situations in your life. Of course, the upcoming car show and, and the road race, which everybody is really familiar with. Tell us about some of the upcoming events that people can support. Uh, just as you suggest, we have uh, our First, the, the Wings and Wheels in, in Plainville, Connecticut with classic cars and, and air, airplanes that benefits the foundation as well as the local food pantry. And then our golf tournament on June 20th in uh, Farmington. And finally, the 5K uh, road race uh, and fitness walk on July uh, 17th, preceded by the pasta dinner the night before. And as we discussed beforehand, your dad was a great su supporter mm. of the event when he was at DRC. All sure, pictures. sure. All right, good. Well, we appreciate you both being here on CT Style. Best of luck with the events. And, of course, for more information, we can check out janedoenomore.org and pettitfamilyfoundation.org. Yeah.